we've all had these times when we're on stage and all of a sudden we've had a little too much to drink before we decided to get on stage i got to go and how am i going to deal with this in nashville it's very different because we don't leave the stage once your set starts four hours later you leave so it's a little different for us playing down on Broadway and stuff because there are no breaks and it is four straight hours of go, go, go. So if you have to go, you have to work it out with the band. They have to figure something out to get you on your instrument away from them for the time it is to get through a packed hallway of a crowd to get to the back. It happens a lot. It's happened to me a lot on Broadway. And the story uh, deals with my man, Hank. My man, Hank, got a gig somewhere on some plantation for a frat ka or I, I i don't know we have to go there this is one of the few huh, i had to throw the snares are still on so I, I drove down to this one i didn't really know where i was going it was in the middle of nowhere this is in the land before gps so maps were still used and they were a nightmare these book things ugh. I had to drive to this weird plantation to do a gig for these people. They had hired Hank because they loved him. This fraternity just loved this dude. He was good old boy, yeah, a holler and a swaller. You know, that was kind of before that, but he was that dude. He was holler and a swaller guy. We're setting up. The guitar player shows up, the bass player is, comes with him, and these are people I've never met. I'm getting used to what this kind of feels like before Nashville. This is kind of what I've seen happen. There are stories where, not this gig, but there was the one before this, goodness gracious. We show up in somewhere in Alabama and don't have a guitar player. He uh, He's like, well, we'll just find somebody. So we go to a music store just ask for the first guy they can think of they give us a name some dude shows up pretty much strap on and hang on this is in the key of whatever and that's it and it's time to go boy those were some terrible terrible gigs and that was a uh, that was just rough just dealing with that trying to pick up an auxiliary player is really all the guitar player is at that point for this group but this story is about <laughs> having to be on a stage and then all of a sudden it becoming a worst gig ever we are playing for these people they have come out of these buildings around this courtyard and we're on a porch 20 feet in the air playing to these kids that are all dressed up for i guess it was a formal or something we get to the third song hank is in it we are absolutely george straighting it up everybody's down there just holding their beer and cheer 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 it's a good gig so far. Everybody's into it. If they're into it, you can really get into some stuff and play. Then Hank turns around to me and the unknown guitar player and unknown bass player and says, Boys, I got to go take a shit. I'm like, okay. I just don't feel well. We're playing a song. We're in the second verse. He says, y'all play one. The guitar player, a uh, cat from Atlanta. I actually get seriously good guitar player my god that guy could play he had a whole willie nelson thing where i think he did like a willie nelson tribute show or something my goodness he got up there and all of a sudden here comes willie oh it was it was beautiful at the time my man hank is sprinting down these stairs around and in front of all these kids that are up there raising hell and he's like yeah yes he's holding his stomach i'm sitting here playing whatever we're playing he is booking it across trying to go into these houses these houses are locked he can't get in and i can see him doing this as he can't find where the bathroom is there is no porta potty this was a very poorly planned event as far as this goes <laughs> so we're just playing and i don't really know what to think because all these kids are wanting to know where hank is and they keep going where's hank where's hank and i said i think he just had to go over here something was wrong he had to go fix it <laughs> i lied my way through that one he had to go fix something <laughs> goodness hey ow that burrito got him twice <laughs> we're playing 45 minutes goes by then all of a sudden i see hank slowly walking back hank doesn't look too good he walks back up the stage puts his guitar back on and hangs over grabs grabs onto something says boys uh, I don't, uh, it's all right. Y'all sounded good. Y'all sounded good. And he put a guitar back on, sang three songs, took a break. It was just that idea and that nervousness of what if that guitar player that he had brought in wasn't a badass. Absolutely stepped up, sang, played, took care of the whole thing with a bunch of players he had no idea about. 
Luckily, that guitar player ended up calling me for other work later because he liked the way I played. So he's like, hey, I got to go do a gig. Will you drive to this and do it? No, nah, I didn't mind. He was a nice cat, so I enjoyed it. But yeah, the idea of having to go while you're on stage, there's some terrible stories of New Year's Eve gigs where I get one break and I'm playing two sets and it's 90 minutes break, 90 minutes. I have decided to have a few more too many sweet teas before getting to the stage. Yeah, those are just terrible. And I'm back here doing jumping jacks behind a drum set. Just, oh, freaking out. I go, what am I going to do? Oh, those are terrible moments. And they just turn like, at that moment, it's like the worst gig ever. Every song seems to take a million years, and it's just silly. But that was kind of a weird funny memory and all these are all my memories like this and all the people and all the people i play with i appreciate everybody taught me something and i love it i like looking back and looking at the different things that happen and it seems real and i like i like the reality you know it's fun to play pretend and dress up and do things and but you're still when it comes down to it, you're playing pretend it's fun to look back at those stories and think about the reality at the time it was the worst gig ever just the worst gig ever i'm like what is going on doing army bases and doing all those other things you just get these weird things but <laughs> oh wow that's a story for another time <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Chadwick. I just made that crazy thing. If you liked it or it made you feel something, grab your camera phone and hold it up to one of the codes over here. And I've kind of come up with a way to do a virtual tip bucket. If you get a chance, hit one of the codes. I appreciate it. Don't feel like you have to. It's really appreciated. Thanks.